Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are well today. How are you? Let me know how you are doing in the comments. If you're tuning in on the replay, give me a hashtag replay in the comments. Let me know that you are here. I would love to know that you are tuning in today. Let me know that you can see and hear me all okay as well. I would love to know that is all happening. <clears throat> if you are tuning in live, give me a hashtag live in the comments. Let me know that you're here. I would love to uh, say hello to you uh, and uh, and welcome you on to our live stream today. This is AMs with Annette, which of course happens Mondays to Thursdays at 11 a.m. UK. Streaming across multiple platforms this morning and every morning. We are currently live on YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, inside the Uncover Wealth community, my private community on Facebook. Ah, apparently there is a problem with the video. Let me turn it off and let me turn it back on again and let's see if the video is working on Facebook. Do let me know if, uh, if that is better now on Facebook. Can you see me now? Let me know if that video has come on. I just switched it off and on again. So do let me know if the video is now working on Facebook. I don't think it is. <clears throat> Eloise, I don't think it is. Let's see what we can do with the video on Facebook so that we can make sure that we can get uh, get some video. Switch camera. So look, you can get another view uh, from my other camera. And then let's switch back and see if we can get video started and kicked off on um, on Facebook. Oh, and I'm speaking to myself. So do let me know if the video is now working on there. Ah, I can see me now. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good. I am glad. Um, I hopefully I've messed that up again because, um, yeah, I can't see myself on my Facebook feed, but I'm hoping you guys can now. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it's all working there. Sometimes, of course, we do get these minor tech glitches. There we go, I can see myself when I look now. So that's good. Sometimes we get these minor tech glitches, so apologies about that. Thank you for bearing with me this morning. Thank you for everyone who is hopping on live. This, as I said, is AMs with Annette, 11 AMs, Mondays to Thursdays, <clears throat> where we dive into a topic. We're not live on TikTok this morning. We had a problem with one of the devices this morning, so not a good tech day for streaming, apparently. So we're not live on TikTok this morning, but we are, of course, still live everywhere else. So today is Wealth Wednesday, and that means I have a topic to go through with you. Today I'm speaking about how much should I reinvest into my business? That is what our topic is for today. Good morning, Sean. Always lovely to see you on. Tim, hello. Thank you for tuning in. It is lovely to see you as well. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone who is hopping on. Thank you, everyone who is saying hello in the comments to me as well. Hello, Diane. Thank you for joining me. It's all always lovely for people to say hello, Dimitri. Thank you for joining me again. I do appreciate everyone who's tuning in. So how much should I reinvest into my business? This is a question that I get asked all the time. People want to know what's the magic number that they can reinvest into their business to achieve the magic growth and the magic number that they want to achieve. So I want to start by addressing what reinvestment means. Because when you make a choice to reinvest money into your business, many people say they're reinvesting into their business, but they're actually just overspending in their business. So reinvestment is a strategy, it's strategic, and it involves you looking at your investment options in your business and choosing the options that you want to, instead of taking money out of the business in profit for you and your family, you choose to keep that in the business and reinvest in something that delivers you a positive return. Investments, the purpose of an investment is to deliver a positive return to the business. So if you are choosing to reinvest your money in your business, you need to understand what the potential return is for that reinvestment. 
as I said, typically people say this to me that they're reinvesting everything in their business, when actually they're just overspending on things. So being really clear that where you're directing your money is an investment. It is going to deliver you a positive ROI, a positive return on investment, which means for the money you put in, you get more money back out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Tim, yeah, absolutely. We won't have uh, we won't have crazy comments today. Uh, there were not on TikTok. Good morning. Uh, is it Jeremy? Jeremy? Um, I think. Uh, good morning. Thank you for joining me um, from Periscope. So, thank you everyone who is tuning in. Do give me a hashtag live in the comments if you are watching live. I often find that you guys can be quite quiet when it comes to the uh, comments section, but I would love to know that you are here and I would love to say hello to you in the comments. So do let me know that you are here. It is always lovely to hear from people. So that is the very first thing that we need to understand when we are choosing to how much how much money to reinvest in our business is exactly what reinvestment is and what it means to reinvest because an investment is profit. An investment means you are taking the profit that you would ordinarily have distributed to shareholders in your business. Now, you may be the only shareholder, so that means that you would be distributing to yourself. So it, a reinvestment is taking money away from your own pocket. So you better be strategic about it and have a thought through plan. Have a plan that shows what the return will be because just throwing money and hoping something sticks is not a reinvestment plan in your business. That is often flushing money down the drain. So we wanna be really clear that when we do this plan, when we do this strategy, we know that there's gonna be money coming back. Okay, so what is the plan? What are the options that you have for this for reinvesting this money? Which have you considered? Which have you written off? And which are you going to go with? And mapping that out is going to be incredibly important as well. It, and I want you to remember when you're also thinking about what to reinvest and how much to reinvest, that the the pot of money that you have to play with as such is the surplus in your business. So it is what is left after your standard expenses, after your own take home, massively, massively important to factor that in, that is an expense that your business should be paying on a monthly basis. Your own take home should not be discretionary. It should be consistent and reliable income. And if it's not, something's gone wonky. So you need to address that. That is massively, massively key. So the surplus will exist after your expenses, after your own take home, after you have set aside money for all your tax obligations each month, whether that be VAT, PAYE, whether that be um, corporation tax and allocation for corporation tax each month, you should be siphoning off and setting aside as well. It's going to be after you've paid payroll. It's going to be after you've paid all your suppliers. A surplus exists, does not exist if you are mounting debt in your business to suppliers or other things. If you've got growing debt in your business, you don't have a cash surplus to reinvest. You need to be paying that off and getting rid of that debt because if you don't and the debt just builds up, you're gonna be on a fast track to running out of money. You're gonna be a fast track to bankruptcy in all honesty. So making sure that those things are paid for and then that is what you have left to reinvest. That is the maximum you have left to reinvest. Now, I'm not saying you should reinvest it all, but that is the absolute maximum that you have left. Of course, making sure that you also have your emergency fund in your business. If you don't have an emergency fund, some of that surplus needs to be squirreled away so that you're building up an emergency fund in your business as well. So there's all these other things to think about as well before you start thinking, how am I going to reinvest the profits that my business makes, the cash balance that my business has into its growth? Now, I, as a general plan, you should have growth investments in there but you need to, it's extra basically that we're speaking about here, that extra to reinvest. Now, typically most businesses should be having some kind of marketing plan so that you know what you have on a typical month. 
to spend on say ads and those kinds of things as well. So everything needs to be baked into the plan is basically what I'm saying. We need to actually see this written out and we need to plan it out because otherwise you have no idea what you should reinvest in your business. And if somebody says to you, oh, it's this percentage of revenue or you know, all businesses should be reinvesting this, they have no idea about building a proper thought out, worked through plan for your business. I highly recommend that you have a profit plan in place that you can see it mapped out. You can see, oh, okay, so on this month, I am not taking home this money as a dividend and instead I'm reinvesting it here. Okay, so really getting a clear idea, but making sure that you are paid for the work you do in the business before you start reinvesting it. I, I find, I feel that is incredibly key as well. So how do we actually map this out? Well, the thing that we do is we build a profit plan in our business. Now I'm gonna be going really in depth on how to build a profit plan in your business um, in a few weeks time, in about a month's time, in the beginning, uh, sorry, the middle of September, I am doing the Wealth Lab, building your implementable profit plan. It's completely free. I'll talk you through day by day over a five day period exactly how to build a profit plan in your business step by step. We've got screenshots and a workbook and um, the team and I have been working really hard on making this a completely awesome uh, event for you and training for you. So do come and register for that. The link is in the description to this video. Um, so it's the it's um, annetteandco.co.uk slash TWL standing for the Wealth Lab. But as I say, the link is in the description wherever you are. So do make sure you register for that and then you'll get a real talk through in depth of exactly how to build a profit plan in your business. But basically a profit plan is looking at the next 12 months, it's making sure that you have profit layered in, it's making sure you have your owner's pay layered in, it's making sure the expenses are where they need to be for your stage of business and for the business that you are running. And it's mapping out a sustainable, um, implementable revenue plan to match everything as well. So we go through every single bit of that in the Wealth Lab, building your implementable profit plan together. So if you have not got a profit plan built out yet, make sure that you do register for that. Even if you do have one, it's probably a good refresher as well. So please, please do, if you're tuning in, make sure that you register for the Wealth Lab, building your implementable profit plan, because that will also give you even more clarity on reinvesting in your business. So. I hope that this session has been useful. I hope it's given you some takeaways to think about around how much to reinvest, what reinvestment is, what is available, the funds available for reinvestment, and what you should be considering when you are thinking about reinvesting funds in your business versus using them for perhaps some other things as well. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I appreciate your time. I know it's incredibly precious. For those of you that are new to me and uh, do not know who I am, my name is Annette Ferguson. I am CEO of Annette Co., UK-based accounting firm. I'm a chartered accountant, certified profit-first professional and income strategist, and I help business owners take home more money from their business for them and their families to enjoy. We are back again tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. as well. Tomorrow being Thursday is our strategic chat, which is my open Q&A session. So I don't do any pure teaching in that session. That's completely open Q&A where you can come and ask me any question about your business or indeed about my business. So I would love for you to mark that in your diaries and join me for um, strategic chat at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And like I said, I would love if you want to come and register for the Wealth Lab building your implementable profit plan. I know it makes a massive difference to the businesses that we do this with. And with our um, accounting clients, we do this one on one with every client that comes on board now because it's so, so incredibly powerful. And it's a fundamental basis to increase profitability in your business, increase take home, regardless of whether you're running a five, six, seven or eight figure business. This is is the bedrock to increased profitability and increased personal wealth and take home as a result. So please do come and register for that. As I said, the link should be in the descriptions wherever you are watching today. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time as always. I know it's incredibly precious. So thank you for spending some of it 